Alright, g'day guys, look, uh, pretty excited about the new release that's come out uh, and just so you know where to find it, if we go up to the component tool up here you'll notice that we now have a whole heap of different things inside of here. This will still take to the Ruby Sketch library so you can still go and get all the manufacturer's products that you want but here, click this one and you're going to come up with a whole heap of components that are very easy to access. So we've got steel beams, we've got electrical appliances, we've got plumbing items, we've got floor plans. Now floor plans are the one I really want to go through straight away. Kitchens uh, and cabinetry, it's it's good and I'm going to look forward to some feedback on that one. We've got furniture, we've got landscaping, uh, we've got safety and site uh, and we've got some screening and awnings. Uh, these things are all uh, parametric and it's going to save you a heap of time so essentially you can go through here and you can look at your steel beams or you know whatever it is that you want to put in there you can scroll through them so by using the up and down arrow and it'll show you what it is that you're going to get um, <clears throat> there's a whole heap of stuff and you can do that with all these the HPM Legrand stuff is fantastic love it uh, it's got a heap of cool things in there uh, and you can go through them and they all change and you can also place them into a wall when you've got walls drawn. I'm going to go through that one in more detail later. I think the thing that's going to really uh, suit a lot of people is going to be this floor plan for design and layout. Okay, uh, it's not so much for the builder, this is more for the designer, but all of this other stuff is specifically uh, to do with site and construction. All right, here we go. Okay, you can choose a lay that you want to put these things on. So usually a client will give you a client brief. Uh, you can go to here and you can choose what item you want to put in there. At the moment, I'm going to grab bathroom and I go to submit and I've got a bathroom there. Inside of here, it allows us to change the sizes of the rooms, the bath widths and everything like that parametrically. But you can also go inside of the components and move things around. So if I go into here, uh, and I click on this and I can move things around very quickly to suit my bathroom layout however it might want to go um, and I can put my bath here and and so on it's just a good way to get your layouts together okay I can then I can also click on it uh, with my interact tool and it'll change the name of it for your plans and so on okay uh, all of the rooms have different rooms inside of them and we do have more coming we look forward to your feedback uh, this is this is just a, a quick video to get you started. Alright, I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to choose the different types. I'm going to have bedrooms and go submit. I'm going to go bedroom and then I can quickly copy it with control and go okay well I want a master bedroom but I also want bedroom 2. I can then move it bedroom 3 uh, and depends on what the client brief, brief is as to how many bedrooms are you going to get. Uh, I, can, I can go down to my garage and workshops and I can go submit yes I want a garage uh, I can also go down and kitchen and pantries, uh, laundry. It's a good way not to forget things when you're designing. I've been guilty of it myself sometimes. Family rooms, living rooms, uh, outdoor areas, alfrescos, submit. Uh, and I'm going to go down to storage rooms and so on submit there are more coming okay what this allows us to do is now lay out a plan in 2d without having to get involved with the 2d drawing I'm going to close this down and I'm going to go to these items over here now you'll notice that this little box has come up here which you can change them but I actually it is good because you know the minimum sizes you can type them in so the client might say minimum size and this particular one is 8 meters and push enter and it's changed the size of the room but that only works to a certain extent and we have done some extensive testing on this uh, and I'm not about to create a fantastic home here you guys I'm just going to put these together and I'll leave it up to your design expertise to figure this out uh, so what I'm doing I'm just sim simply click selecting my move tool so shortcut M which is this one here and I'm putting them where I want them to go okay and bedroom three I'll put this down over here for some silly reason next to the laundry and now I can see okay well I've got this together and I'm going to want to walk in robe uh, in my master I don't have to bug around um, with this if I don't want to I can but if I go to my scale tool uh, which is uh, essentially looking at, I always use shortcuts guys S is your shortcut for scale tool but it's also this one over here I'm going to click S and all I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly move 
things around to make them work. So I might want this walk-in robe to go here and you'll notice that the sizes and everything are changing according to what it is I'm after. Now I have the ability to be able to go and quickly trace around my plan once I've got it set out, which is a real big time saver. I'm going to move this over to here. Sorry Sophie, you're getting deleted. I'm doing this in 14 guys because I test everything in 14 first and uh, I can now go to my wall tool. I haven't started this up before so first time start, uh, give it a second. Sub submit or choose the type of um, walls that you want to draw and simply trace over top of the plan. You can move inside and outside and all the your favorite tools that we have. Um, you can do that. Okay and the best thing about this now is you can figure out what size the house is going to be that you're going to design before you get involved. It's sort of a, a, a chicken and an egg sort of thing. I don't know if anyone's ever written any music. Do you start with the beat first or do you start with the words? Uh, it's the same with design. Do you start with the facade or do you start with the layout? Obviously you need to know layout and this makes it very very quick to figure out your layout. Now while this is loading for the first time it'll draw my walls up we still can go back and say, right, okay, let's see what it looks like with a roof. It's allowing us to mass design very, very quickly, uh, generate roof from walls. And we can just have a look at how it's going to look with that size. And we can also put these on top of a block layout and go, okay, well, this is the type of house, you know, we could be skewing, could be gable, could be two story, it doesn't matter. And I go, okay, well, you know what, don't really like that. I'm going to uh, undo it, undo that as well. And I can say, okay, well, this is the size that I've got here, but I really want to split my walls. Walls, I'm going to go to walls, I'm going to split the wall, uh, and I might make the master bedroom bigger in this case. Go enter. Right, and I'm now going to go and push pull this wall out. And yeah, I'm doing this quickly, guys, because I don't want to bore you to tears. I know that a lot of you guys are very good at doing this and probably better than I am. But now I can see what I've got. If I want to generate my scenes and go OK, I can go to my floor plan. And you'll see how quick I got that out. It's good for roughing out. You know, you can even sort of use this as concept stuff with clients. Um, so, yeah, look, I hope it helps you out a lot. Uh, I'm sure it will. Uh, and don't forget that you can click on these items and you can change the names of the items uh, to whatever it is you want. All right, guys, hope it helps. Cheers.